So you've been thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, but you're not sure where to begin? Well, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to take you step by step through the entire process of setting up a YouTube channel from scratch. Whether you're a complete beginner or just need a quick refresher, by the end of this video, you'll be ready to launch your channel and start creating content for the world to see. Let's dive in and get you set up for success. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up our browser and go to youtube.com. And you'll notice right away, we have a blank feed. We have nothing going on. YouTube doesn't know what to show us because our Google account has a completely empty search history and YouTube is completely empty, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to start the process of making sure we've got our own YouTube channel. So from the main YouTube screen, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click our icon in the top right corner, our initial, in this case for Joe Schur, and we're going to see the first thing right at the top is a create a channel. So we're going to go ahead and click create a channel. And right now it's going to just have a blank avatar and our name and our handle. We could change the handle if we wanted to, to use something else. For example, if you had a brand name that you wanted to feature, like you were going to do maybe videos about boating, you could say Joe's boating channel or something like that. In this case, we're just going to leave it at the defaults with the name and the handle that matches the name and we'll click create channel. And there you go. It's as simple as that. We have created our first YouTube channel. Now, inside of here, we have a couple options where we can get started. Uh, the first is we can customize this channel. And the first thing that happens when you do that is you get taken to YouTube Studio. And YouTube Studio is kind of the behind the scenes section for everything that happens with YouTube. If we go ahead and click continue, you'll see we have uh, a number of features that we can take advantage of in here. And essentially what you can do is just start right at the top and work your way down. Uh, I'll quickly go through some of the basic information for your channel customization. Switch over to the basic info tab and you'll see here you can put your name, you can change your handle. Like if you wanted to change your channel name, you could do this here. Uh, if you're interested in adding your pronouns, you can do that. In this section, you could put a description about your channel. Filling out a description here will help people understand what your channel is about. This description will appear in the about section of your channel. Uh, it will pop up during search results and occasionally pop up in other places inside YouTube. What's the first type of content you're planning to create for your new YouTube channel? Share your ideas in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you're excited about. You'll notice you have a unique channel URL. This is just a standard channel that's created. You can reference your YouTube channel by going to this specific link, or you can go back to the top and choose the youtube.com slash at Joe Shure, just like we see up here. If you want to share external links with viewers, you can do that as well. You just click the add link button and you'll have an option to put a name for the link and then create the actual link itself. In this case, we're just going to leave that blank. And for contact information, if you want to enter an email address where your viewers can email you, you would fill that in here. Since we have one, we'll go ahead and fill that out. It's just our Joe Sure for at gmail.com. I'm going to close the pop up right here so we can hit the publish button. There we go. And that's now set up. Okay, back on the customization screen. Uh, we flipped over to the layout tab and you'll notice we have an option to do a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed to your channel. This is another way for people to understand what your YouTube channel is about. It's an opportunity to create something that's enticing that will cause viewers to want to watch your channel. So in this case, you might want to do a quick video montage of all the types of things you're going to do videos about. Uh, you could also just do an introductory talking head video where you just explain what you're going to do with your channel. And you also can leave this blank in the beginning. You may want to leave it blank until you have come to the point where uh, you've got a bunch of videos that you can pull from and then create your, your channel. It's not a requirement to have a, a channel trailer. You can also have a featured video for returning subscribers. This is a video that just pops up um, for people who have subscribed to your channel. But if they watch the video, then it, they'll get presented a new video. But if they've never seen it, this video will pop up right away for something to watch. Under the featured sections, here you have the option to reorganize your channel um, so that people can find the things that are most interesting to them and you can kind of direct them there. For example, you might want to focus on doing YouTube Shorts. And in that case, you're going to want to move YouTube Shorts up to the top. So the first thing that they see when they go to your channel is YouTube Shorts. And then perhaps you want to have the, fall, the For You or the Video section. In this case, let's move the videos up and we'll move past live streams up and we'll leave it just like this. We'll hit Publish and there we go. We've changed that order for your channel. And you'll notice if we click the Add Section button, you can also add other options for playlists, inscriptions, community clips, those type of things. And then if we hop over to the branding section, here you'll be able to upload a picture or an icon for your channel. So if you've done a logo for your channel, you could upload your logo here, the banner image, 
can be placed across the top of your screen. I'll flip over to the, my YouTube channel uh, and you'll notice we have the Matt Reviews and Teaches stuff at the top of the channel. That is the channel banner. And then I've got my own photograph here. Uh, this is if I had a logo, this is where the logo would go. Uh, so you can choose. I think people find photos to be a little bit more personal, but uh, it's, again, it's personal preference, whether you want to use a logo or a photograph. The video watermark is something that you can have that will play in the corner of your YouTube video, a very small 150 pixel square image. So if you had a logo, again, you could put your logo down in the bottom corner. And that's just an another unique little option you can do to kind of brand your channel. If you want to view these things, you could just hit the view channel button and you would see those uh, things there. Of course, again, we don't have anything there, so it just comes up as blank. So let's go back to your channel, customize channel. From this point forward, you'll always have a button when you're logged into YouTube to create videos. And that's going to be this little button right here that says create. If you click on that, you'll have the option to upload a video or go live. One caveat is you won't be able to go live right away. The first thing you're going to have to do is click on that, and then you'll have to request access to streaming. And then you'll be asked to verify some information. In this case, we'd be asked to verify our phone number and that will allow us to enable live streaming uh, on YouTube from the desktop. It takes about 24 hours th for this to happen. Once you've get the verification email back from YouTube, you should be able to set up live streaming. But for right now, most people won't start off with live streaming. You'll start off with just simply creating YouTube videos. So when you're ready to create your first video, you'll either click the create button down here or click a little plus sign up at the top. We'll just hit create. And what that does is that brings up our menu for uploading our very first YouTube file. So uploading and publishing a video is gonna be a little bit beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested in having me do that, let me know and I will create a video on how to upload your first file to YouTube. If you haven't created a Google account yet, you probably wanna watch this video right here.